This is the BMW i8, but is it worth $150,000? I don't know, we'll see. A lot of times you'll hear Lamborghini doors, butterfly doors, and some people say Falcon doors, but Falcons do like this. One of the coolest features on this car are the doors, clearly, man. When you pull up in this car, the reaction is absolutely crazy, man. So if you're afraid of attention or you don't like attention, don't buy this car, all right? But these doors are absolute game changers, man. They are game changers. It's a beautiful car when the doors come up. It's beautiful before you even pull up and open the doors, man. But even the wheels, man, there's so much styling in the wheels. It's a black and alloy wheel. So you have black painted sections and the other sections are alloy. And the center cap has that beautiful BMW blue center cap with the original BMW logo, man. Can't beat that, man. Beautiful car, man. And you see, small wheel gap, man, it's already lowered. And actually, when you go in sport mode, the car lowers itself, gets even lower. And, and the gas pedal gets stiffer so you can get down and get to it. God, no, no, no. Now, the question is always asked, how do you get inside of a BMW i8? Let me show you. You sit down first on the seal, okay? Sit down on the seal first. You grab the steering wheel, and then you plop down as such. Plop down, stand low, watch out for the dash, swing your feet in, you're inside your BMW i8. Never be too cool for the safe belt. This model, the Pure Impulse World, has the blue seat belt package, okay? It's the $150,000 model, remember that. So when you're pricing them, if you want the blue seat belts, get the Pure Impulse World package. I like it. Some of you probably didn't know, the BMW i8's window, because of the curved design of the door, doesn't go all the way down inside the door. So back where I'm from, we like to cruise with our arm hanging out the window. Hey, what's up, dog? Hey, what's going on, baby? Hey, you, what's going on? I see you. Oh, man, you can't do that now. Oh, well. So getting out of the vehicle, it's the complete opposite, all right? You wanna put your feet out first and have a firm seat here, keeping your head low. Almost like getting out of a helicopter. Feet out on the ground, boom, I'm sitting down. There are probably people watching, so you gotta be cool. Go that way, never go this way, okay? You, you can understand why. Boom, I'm up. That's how you get out of your BMW i8. Question that a lot of people ask about the BMW i8 is the back seat. Yes, it has a back seat, because it's a coupe, okay? It's a coupe, it has a back seat. Let's see how a six foot tall individual fits in the back seat. Oh, 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 man, oh, oh, I don't know, man, very low ceiling, man, I, I think this is a no for me, dog. Yeah, you can do it, but why would you? Getting out of the back seat is the worst part. Um, I think that's a no for me, dog. <laughs> that I love. The folding mirrors gives it a cool, sleek design when it's just sitting there chilling, as such. Oh yeah, that's cool. It does not require a special plug. The BMW i is a true hybrid, 240 volt plug. And so, boom. Bam. And it's charging. Using the BMW office function, you can actually connect your BMW to your calendar. And when you have events on your calendar that has an address connected, it can automatically send the info to your car and you're ready to roll. Follow the arrow on the display. When leaving, turn left. 
This glass area here separates the engine compartment from the cabin, as you can see. Trunk space is at a minimum. You can get about eight to 10 grocery bags back here, plastic grocery bags, about eight to 10, and you'll still be able to close the lid down. These are aerodynamic channels that, how, that shows how the air flows through the car on the top side and the bottom side. All right, let's take this thing for a spin, man. The BMW i8 has three driving modes, and it's important to understand the differences between the three modes. You have your comfort mode, which is a combination of gas and electric. The computer will use a little bit of gas, a little bit of electric as needed. If you want a little bit more speed, it's gonna use a little bit more gas because the gas engine is in the back. And it's a three cylinder gas engine, but when you combine it with the battery power that's down the middle of the car, you have about 357 horses that are ready to rock and roll, baby. So when you switch from electric mode to sport mode, the dash lights up fire red, letting you know that it's time to go. Let's see what it can do. Oh yeah, oh yeah. She can go, baby. That sport mode is something else, man. We gotta do that again, man. I gotta, we gotta hit that again. Yes, you can. BMW i8, baby. Let's go. What's up, baby? We're like having a little bit of fun, man. BMW i8, man. You can ride with the doors up. Let's go. perfectly honest man this is one of the coolest cars man that i've ever been in just the styling of it is very futuristic love the blue seat belts that come along with the pure impulse world package so if you're looking to buy a bmw i8 this is the pure impulse world package that comes with a few extra trimmings such as the blue electric seat belts man be careful getting out Always sit down first and then go the opposite way of the door. This is one of the best looking cars that you could actually buy in the entire world. The aesthetics are absolutely crazy. Affectionately known as the spaceship. Remember that you heard it here first. The spaceship is an absolutely beautiful car, man. Another reason why you probably should buy it. Another reason why it may be worth the $150,000 price tag that BMW has slapped on it, all right? At least for the Pure Impulse World package. If it's not Pure Impulse World, it's probably around $135,000. Still pretty high. But is it worth it? Make sure y'all stay tuned and make sure y'all watch some of these playlists right here. The ones right here. Yeah, these right here. Click one of them. Boom.